If you need to ask a question, click the raise hand button. For our first question, we will go to Thomas Costello of Massive Report. Go ahead, Thomas. Thanks for the time coaching. Congratulations on the win. Um, what did it mean for the team playing here in Columbus in front of a, a pretty loud crowd and being able then to, you know, pull out a victory and then sing wise men here at the end. Hi, uh, thanks. Uh, I was surprised. I, I, I wasn't expecting uh, so many people uh, and I, uh, and I can't wait to, to do it again. Hopefully even with more guys. Um, it was great. Um, it's that feeling where uh, I was concerned that the guy fell with a little like kind of a, a chip on their shoulders. Um, I think you, you could notice that we were still a little bit of timid, I felt like. Um, but uh, getting some confidence, still still not the way they're capable of performing, uh, I would say. But uh, as the game went on, they certainly took confidence and uh, and uh, overall a, a decent first, I would say, and uh, really happy with the, the first win. You talked about, too, it kind of followed to that. You mentioned playing uh, a little more timid. It looked like, at least from up here, that uh, Columbus was kind of in charge there for the early parts of the match, and then Orlando towards the middle of the first half and getting into the later parts of the first half kind of found their, their, found their stride. What do you think kind of changed there that gave Orlando maybe more chances in the end of that first half? A um, couple of things. The One, Orlando is a really good uh, – a really good opponent too. Uh, a lot of talent, uh, a lot of uh, interchanging positions. So it's not easy to uh, to really uh, uh, be uh, hyper confident about really uh, get uh, uh, seeking them really high. And the second you you hesitate and you go in half spaces in terms of uh, instead of having uh, going hard, you get punished and right away uh, you you put yourself in a situation where you uh, you chase more. Um, so it's this thing where at time we were a little bit hesitant, at time Orlando did really well, and uh, we were just able to, to deal with the storm at times and, uh, and also capable of uh, uh, win the ball back in this area. We we're not able to capitalize, but it's a good opponent too. Sometimes we forget that uh, the, the opponent they play and they, they, they're good and they, they're able to, to hurt you too. Thank you, Laurent. For next question, we'll go to Tyler Fisher. And if you'd like a question after that, click the raise hand button. Uh, Coach, you've probably been asked this before, but Jason Russell Rowe, his uh, his performance tonight was just immaculate. What can you say about uh, about him tonight? Uh, he was three goals. Uh, he could have scored three. He knows it. He's uh, he has a special talent. Uh, he's savvy. He's deceptive. Uh, he's really smart, and today was not at his best. And uh, he can score a lot of goals and a lot of assists. And he's a he's a special talent. <clears throat> Thank you, Mark. We'll go back to Thomas. Uh, thanks again, Coach. Uh, looking uh, well, actually on Thursday uh, practice, you mentioned that the team was about at 50% what you wanted them to be <laughs> in terms of where they're developing and moving into where you want the team to go. What, um, did that go up at all tonight uh, in the performance? Uh, it looked like in the second half, they kind of came out uh, much, much stronger, like you mentioned in the first half. Uh, where would you put them at now? Oh, well, there's, there's, as long as we keep having the, the, the idea of we try to get one person better every day and today the challenges was playing at the history crew stadium for the first time and not and not being overwhelmed by it uh, having to deal with a couple of uh, substitutions having to deal with the quality opponent that had his moment um, so there's always uh, on the day a new uh, kind of challenge and we try to uh, and we try to get the guys uh, on the same page about the approach that they need to build and, and, and bring every day in order to give themselves a chance to, to have a career. So yes, there's the soccer content individually and collectively, and there's the, the collective mental approach that we want them to, to build. And uh, so every day faces challenges and, uh, 
and today again we internally we have to to face a few uh, aspects and uh, we <clears throat> we are happy to say that the guys are in the right direction in terms of uh, what we expect this platform to be as a as a reserve for the for the club. For a final two questions. Excuse me, for final two questions, we'll go to Daniel Leary. Daniel, go ahead. Hi, Coach. Uh, you had two goals tonight, uh, but also another shutout. Could you talk about your back line's performance? The back line performance? Yes, you talk about their performance tonight. Sure. Um, of course, we put ourselves in a situation where we always going to have to have uh, some uh, decent amount of running uh, uh, up and down, whether we force defending frontally or with, whether we force the long ball and it got behind our line. Um, <clears throat> like I said today, the little difference was Orlando compared to the previous performances was able to find a few more gaps that the previous opponent maybe didn't uh, had the chance, uh, maybe it was a better job of our first lines, or maybe the opponent did better. But uh, uh, the fact that the, they always stay compact and, and having each other's back to the point that they do the, the maximum they could to give our goalkeeper a chance to, to, to make a save and make a play, this is all I'm asking. Like, uh, And so far, they're doing a tremendous job um, of do whatever you can individually or with your line in order to give the goalkeeper the best message you can give him to it's your turn now to to make a play so so far the way we align ourselves and uh, uh high and the way we protect the box when it's facing us i'm really pleased yes a couple of uh, breakaways where uh, we've been a little bit more exposed than usual but uh it is it is what it is against a quality opponent it's going to happen and we're going to have to deal with the storm yeah, and then also um, Mo Farsi tonight with two assists. And uh, could you just talk about how he's been a difference maker on uh, both sides of the ball? Mo Farsi is a really, uh, really uh, smart and technical player. I can play pretty much every position, even on a midfielder, if you ask me. Um, yeah, he, he's also surprisingly really uh, good to uh, – uh, <laughs> surprising. I don't know why I said that, but really good at the individual defending in terms of uh, his footwork or his line. So uh, if he's able to, to work on his header, we uh, we have a, a solid uh, a solid player. Thank you, Laurent. Just going to conclude the segment with head coach Laurent Courtois, and we'll next be joined by Mohamed Farsi. Thank you, guys. Thanks, coach.